Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 16th, okay? So, what do we got for right around the 16th? I haven't looked at the bottom yet. I'm going to cut this deck here. What do we have for around the 16th? Ten of Swords reversed, and we had the Two of Cups, but it just fell, right? Wasn't it the Two of Cups? It just fell right out. So, very interesting. There could be a fallout in a partnership. This is the end. That is liberation. It is freedom, okay? It is. That is liberation, partnership. And we saw the card fall. Everything that happens during a reading is part of the reading, okay? So, <coughs> we may have a fallout here. Um, a separation, a separation, the card fell, okay, so, and underneath it, what was underneath it, the seven of cups, hold on, I don't know if it was upright or not, right now it looks upright, so we're gonna, I don't, I didn't look quick enough, I saw it, but I can't remember, but right now to me it looks upright, so, well, maybe it's reversed, I can't remember what it was, If I'm holding it next to this Ten of Swords reverse, I got the Seven of Cups reversed. So I'm going to go with that. Okay, I'm going to go with that. So that's seeing very clearly, seeing something clearly, coming out of confusion about a partnership because the Two of Cups is now on the table in front of me. So this is coming out of confusion, seeing very clearly. There's something painful here. This is the straw that breaks the camel's back, right? I mean, that's what the Ten of Swords is. This is as low as you can go, right? There's options. There's choices. There's something that is going on here. Um, we do, this does have to do with a partnership, okay? I'm going to put these cards back together, and we are going to shuffle. Seeing very clearly, coming out of confusion, making a clear choice. Ten of Swords has been some sort of suffering. There's been some sort of betrayal. This, that's the end. The Ten of Swords reverse. That is like the straw that breaks the camel's back, right? This is the ultimate betrayal or something, you know? I feel, and it's a ten, so it's a completion. There's freedom. Freedom from some sort of partnership, some sort of union. And that could be a friend, it could be a family member, it could be a lover. It's whatever it is. It's partnership, it's freedom, it's liberation. There was some confusion. There was some illusion. It's coming out of it, okay? Oh, look at that. We got two. Ah, oh, Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords. Now the Ten of Swords is upright. Tens are completion, completion. So we do have a completion, completion here. We have something that is coming to an end. We have somebody here that has been hurt. They've been stabbed. I mean, take a look at that. We have somebody here that is... It's like, oh my God, this is so bad. This is so bad. I mean, that Ten of Swords is like, I mean, take a look at that woman. She's on the ground. She's like, oh my God, this hurts so bad. I'm not even sure if she's dead. I mean, this is like the death of a situation. This is, this is, this is the, I mean, and I went, I don't know if, what it is, but I mean, I don't think it, it could be, but I don't think it is. I mean, the, the Ten of Swords at the death of a situation. It is. Ten of Wands is somebody has been holding on to something, okay? They've been trying really, really hard to accomplish something. They've been working hard. Uh, they've become successful, but now it's time to let go. Now it's time to let go of some sort of suffering. I mean, now the Ten of Wands is before the Ten of Swords. The tens are completions. So somebody has been holding on to something. We got we got somebody here that is in a lot of pain, obviously, with that Ten of Swords. That's, like, not good. It isn't. 
This is a straw that breaks the camel's back. The Ten of Wands is somebody that is, is trying really hard to do something. It's like they're carrying a, a lot. They have a lot of demands. They have a lot of things that they're holding on to, a lot of baggage. What is this Ten of Wands? Three of Wands. Now, I clarify the Ten of Wands. I got the Three of Wands. Now, the Three of Wands is typically a definite decision. Okay? It's like a decision has been made. It's a time of growth. It's a new development. Um, this is focusing on the future. So, this is leaving the past behind. Deciding. Deciding to leave the past behind. Somebody was at a crossroads. We had the Two of Wands before that. They were unsure of which way to go. Now the decision has been made. The decision has been made. They're, they're leaving, they're going somewhere. This is like a departure of some sort. It's like their mind is made up. Ten of Wands though, that is like, we have somebody here that has been facing some challenges. They've been trying really, really hard to uh, carry all this weight or carry all this work or to do all this work. They've been successful. Now it's time to let go. It is time to let go. There's a lot of suffering. There is, there's a lot of pain. We definitely got somebody here that is in a lot of pain. What is this 10 of swords Re upright? Now it's upright. What do we have for this 10 of swords? Ooh. Oh boy, so we got somebody here that's really not happy, okay? They're not happy, there's relationship problems, this may be a broken relationship, uh, dark, dark lack of clarity, um, no growth, disillusionment, somebody may have been disillusioned. Uh, whew, that's no, that's a no answer. Oh my God. Five of Wands reverse. Now the Five of Wands reverse. Somebody's been in a state of conflict. They've been playing games, right? They've been playing games. That's tug of war. So they've been going back and forth. They've been playing games. This could be uh, the end of a conflict. Somebody may be giving up. They're giving up. They're not happy. This, they've reached a breaking point with the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands. I can't do this anymore. I can't do this anymore. There's there's no growth. There's no happiness. Um, there's been some sort of pain, or there is pain. Somebody, it, it's now. It is now. Um, giving up. Giving up the fight. This is giving up the fight. This is. It's giving it up. It is. I give up. I give up. High Priestess. High Priestess is an intuitive. This is somebody who knows. Highly, highly, highly intuitive. So we have a High Priestess here who knows something. She knows. She knows that it's over. I mean, tens are completion. She knows something. She knows that it's time to go. I mean, this is somebody that knows something. They know, they know. They, they've been reflecting, taking time to reflect. Uh, Ace of Pentacles. So the Ace of Pentacles is going down a new path, investing in something new. It's a new opportunity. It's a new investment. Um, a gift. It's a blessing. So this is this is like a gift is coming, a blessing is coming. This is what you asked for. This is a new opportunity. Oh, my nose starts itching when I do these readings. I don't know why. High priestess taking time to reflect on a new path. 
The Ace of Pentacles is a golden opportunity. It's something solid. It's something secure. It's something stable. It's something you can hold on to and take to the bank. It's something real, something tangible. Somebody is going to, it's like they know they have something secure. There's something secure here. But there's some, with that sun card reversed, there's some sort of disillusionment. There's, I don't know, letting go, letting go, letting go, giving up, giving up on the false impressions. The sun reversed is false impressions, giving up on the game, giving up on playing the game. It's over. This is over. It's over. We have somebody here that is definitely overwhelmed. It's like they know that it's time. They know. They know that Three of Wands is a departure. In this case, I feel like that's like leaving something behind. Somebody is leaving something behind. They're in. It's like they've made their decision to leave it behind. We do definitely have a high priestess here that. Um, does have some is going to be receiving something okay she's it's like she's calling it in she's calling something in she's manifesting the high priestess is manifesting something or she's going to receive something there's been a lot of suffering there is suffering there's something here that really hurts huh Packing up, packing up, three of wands, that's packing up. It's bags packed, ready to go. We could have an arrival here as well. Somebody is coming, they're, they're coming with a load of something. I mean, that Ten of Wands, that's a heavy load. Somebody's carrying a heavy load, so they're coming with a load of something. I don't know what it is. Mm. Knight of Swords reversed. Now, this could be a sudden departure. I feel like we have somebody here that is getting out. They're getting out of a situation really, really quick. I don't know if there's been some sort of abuse or some sort of ignorance here. Or fear. Something could be this something could be happening extremely fast. Mm. Knight of Swords reversed. I wonder if we have an untrustworthy individual here. We may. Leaving behind something. Leaving behind somebody. or or Because I put it behind the three of wands. Somebody is, is turning their back on a situation. And I don't know. I feel sick, though. The sun card reverse would say that. That there could. I don't know. I don't know. But I definitely. I don't know. Six of Cups reverse. Six of Cups reverse. That is leaving the past behind, packing up, leaving home. Nothing stays the same. Somebody's been ignoring something. They have been ignoring their intuition. Oh my God. Knight of Swords reverse right next to the High Priestess. Priestess. And that's ignorant. So somebody's been ignoring their intuition about an opportunity. They haven't been listening. Clinging to the past, clinging to something. Um, this is packing up and leaving home, though. So isn't the Three of Wands? There could be some traveling. Some of these bags are packed. It's like they're ready to go. They're going somewhere. And if it's not really bags packed, it's like I'm just I'm going somewhere else. The Ace of Pentacles is a golden opportunity for long-term success. Okay, it's something permanent. It's something big. It's something real. Okay, it's something real. Somebody may have a gift, a spiritual gift. I mean, the high priestess right next to the ace of pentacles, that's a spiritual gift. That can lead to abundance. My goodness gracious. Ooh. Mm. The uh, emperor reversed. So the emperor reverse, this is somebody who deserts you in their time of need. This is somebody that um, 
lot or it has control issues or things may be out of control, doesn't take charge, weak, uh, may not be uh, strong enough. The Emperor reversed. You know, somebody knows that there's, I don't know what this is, if there's some sort of abuse or neglect underneath that Knight of Swords. It goes, the High Priestess mirroring the Emperor reversed. The Emperor reversed, uh, I don't know, this may be somebody that's inexperienced. They may even be on the wrong side of the law. This could be, this could be somebody, there's something here that is out of control. It's out of control. Knight of Swords reversed and the Emperor reversed. There's something here that is out of control. This is like a breakdown. It's a breakdown or it's a fallout or a collapse or something like that. Lack of awareness. We have somebody here that is unaware they are unaware that they have a solid opportunity. It's right next to the Ace of Pentacles. Not very experienced, not very wise. Oh my goodness gracious. Uh, Emperor Reverse. This is like... Let me get another card for that. This Emperor Reverse may be taking... Either it's the High Priestess or the Emperor Reverse. Somebody... Because it's connected to the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody is taking an opportunity. Suddenly. There's something here that is out of control. It's like, it is. What is this emperor reversed? Page of Pentacles reversed. So that is not interested. That's not interested. We may have a dead end here. This is somebody that uh, lacks... Uh, perseverance okay they don't have perseverance they don't have strength they don't really want to put in effort they don't want to work they're not really committed may even have fear of commitment it's mirroring the knight of swords knight of swords reverse mirroring the page of pentacles reversed page of pentacles upright is um commitment committing to a new path committing to a new project committing to a new enterprise the knight of swords reversed is fear so you may have somebody here that's fear of, fearful of commitment or they're, they, they, uh, they're out of control. You may have a know-it-all here that just can't settle down, doesn't want to commit, really isn't interested. They're not interested in something. They're not interested in taking control or they're not experienced or, I mean, the Page of Pentacles reversed. That's an X of the Six of Cups reversed. That's emotions. This is like clinging to the past, clinging to the memories of the past. Um, nothing stays the same. Giving up. Not interested. Not interested in putting in effort. We have somebody here that's not really interested in putting in effort. There's no commitment here. Somebody's deciding to go down a new path because there's no growth here. They've been playing games. <clears throat> judgment this is making a judgment call a life changing decision the end of things the truth accepting the truth this is an epiphany this is a wake up call <clears throat> so I wonder if somebody has received a wake up call we have somebody here that is really sad. Okay, they're really unhappy. The judgment is right underneath the sun reversed, right next to the ace of pentacles. So they're really unhappy. They're not sad. I mean, they are sad. They're not happy. They have gotten some sort of wake-up call. Absolutely. Somebody has gotten a wake-up call. Um, this is an awakening. It is an epiphany. 
It's time to go down this new path. It's right next to the Ace of Pentacles. This is a gift. This is a blessing. It's a spiritual blessing. We also have somebody here that is very gifted, that knows that it's time to go down this path. That it, you know, there's there's some sort of judgment that is being made. This is the end of a trial. Okay. Um, this is a life changing decision. Um, a decision is being made. Somebody's going to need to follow their intuition to go down this path. This is a gift. That Ace of Pentacles is a gift. It's a gift. It's a golden opportunity for abundance, for success. We have somebody that's probably not aware with the Sun card reverse, but the Sun underneath the Sun card reverse is a judgment, which is, I wonder if somebody wasn't aware, they weren't aware, they were in the dark, <laughs> okay? They were in the dark. It's interesting because earlier today, this morning, I was in the car and I was saying, love is blind. Don't you know? Don't you know that love is blind? And I said it a couple times. I was in the car. I said, love is blind. I was just, I don't even know where it was coming from, but now it makes complete sense until you get that wake up call, right? Until you get that smack across the head, you know, and, and that's what this is. There's some sort of wake up call here. Um, and the dark, the sun is the dark, okay? So there's, there's something going on here. Somebody's been in the dark. This is a wake-up call. Judgment is a wake-up call. Five of wands reverse. That's giving up. <clears throat> it is. It's giving up. Somebody is giving up. This is like the end of the rope, right? With the tug of war. This is the end of the rope. And it's right next to judgment, which is two tens. This is the end, reach the end of the rope. Okay, this is the end of the rope. There's no growth here. There's false impressions. There's darkness. There's uh, relationship problems. We saw that because the two of cups fell. So we're gonna. I mean, this is a fallout. It's a separation. It is a separation. There's liberation with that ten of swords reverse that we had at the beginning. This is the end. Ten of wands, ten of swords, a judgment, life changing decision is being made to let go. Okay, let go. I mean, if you think about, I mean, tug of war hurts. It hurts. So, and it's reverse. So that's letting go. It's letting go. Letting go of the game, right? I'm done playing. I'm done hurting myself. I'm done suffering. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. This is the end of suffering, okay? It is. Somebody is being given an opportunity. It's going to be presented to them to go down this path to stability. They're going to make the decision to do so because the decision is right next to the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is a yes. So this is a life-changing decision. Some sort of secret or truth is going to be revealed. There may even be some forgiveness here. Judgment can be a card of forgiveness. It can also be a card of reconciliation. So there could be a reconciliation here. We may have somebody here that rejected somebody with the sun card reversed. They've been playing games. We definitely have a player here. We have it in a couple different cards. You know, they've been resisting commitment or not wanting commitment or not putting any effort in. But there's a lot of pain and there's a lot of suffering. We definitely have somebody here that is suffering with that Ten of Swords. This is like the ultimate betrayal, right? The death of a situation, the end, the end, the end of a dark phase, the end of, of playing games, the end of engaging with that, you know? This is like giving it up, making the decision to do so, seeing the truth, knowing the truth, knowing the truth. One more card. Ready. We have somebody here that is ready. It's like they're ready to let go. They're ready to be judged. They're ready to be held accountable. They're ready for something solid. They're ready for something real. They're ready. They're ready. They're ready. The judgment card is a card of ready. Mm. Four of Swords reversed. Now we have somebody here that is exhausted and fed up. They are. There may even be some health issues here. 
There's been a lot of pain, like I said, Three of Swords comes before this. This is leaving the past hurts behind, focusing on the future. We do have somebody here that is going to be focusing on the future. There's been some sort of stagnation, maybe even fear, maybe even weakness. We may have, I mean, the Emperor Reverse could just be somebody that's weak, that doesn't take charge, that doesn't, you know, want to put in the effort to move. I mean, or to take action. This may be somebody that's just lazy. I mean, the Page of Pentacles reverse is lazy. You know, this is somebody that, I mean, hey, we may have somebody here that's lazy. But nothing stays the same. Nothing does stay the same. We may even have somebody here that has selective memory, you know. They only remember what they want to remember. Or they only say what, you know, benefits them. Anyhow. Four of Swords reversed. I feel like we have somebody who, are, who has been suffering, okay? They have been. They've been isolating themselves. They've been working a lot, really focusing on their work. Um, ignoring their intuition. Ignoring the signs. I wonder if we got somebody here that's going, has gotten some sort of awakening. They've gotten some sort of epiphany. They see the truth. They just wake up. This is a, it is definitely a wake up call. There's no doubt about it. This is definitely a wake up call. Definite decision that is being made. It's not an easy decision. It is a hard. I know I got some dye under my fingernails. It might take a day to get it out. Anyhow, um, this is a definite decision, okay? This is some, a decision maker that is making a tough decision based on the truth, based on the facts, okay? I believe there's going to be a conversation. We may have somebody here that initiates a conversation. You know, they got something to say. This is, this is a, a making a decision based on the truth, based on the facts. There's some sort of truth that is about to be revealed, um, there's also probably going to be a challenging conversation. This is a difficult decision. Somebody is making a decision. They have to make it. They're, they've been put in a position to do so. I just cut the deck to the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is about laying a new foundation. It's about putting in effort, working hard, planning, taking action, Moving slow. Somebody is going to be, uh, it's like they know their value. They're going to be giving somebody an opportunity. An opportunity is coming. An opportunity is coming. It's, it's real. It's solid. And I don't know what kind of opportunity this is. I feel like we have somebody here that wasn't interested in putting in effort. Maybe they're going to put in effort. They're, there's an opportunity that is coming from somebody that is very skilled. This person knows their value, has something real to offer. This is somebody that is stable, that is solid, that is secure, that knows what they have to offer. And they're going to be giving it. They're going to be giving it. They're going to be making an offer. It's difficult decision. This is a difficult decision. We had the seven of cups at the beginning, right? There's been other options. Somebody has been exploring their options. And I feel like they've gotten some sort of clarity. They're coming out of the dark about who to choose. It's like a slap right across the face, right? Good luck. 